So we will now continue in the discussion of geometric design of highways. Under the uh, design element, uh, highway alignment, we will now focus on the stopping site distances and the passing site distances, the computation. And uh, here, in this video, the purpose of this video is for us to solve some uh, uh, stopping site distance for horizontal road surface. And uh, for the passing site distance, we will solve that on the next video. <coughs> now, site distance is the length of roadway head that is visi visible to the driver. And the minimum stopping site distance is equal to the distance traveled from the same time the object is sighted to the instant the brakes are applied plus the distance required for stopping the vehicle after the brakes are applied so here is the formula so this is our vehicle and upon sighting a hazard in the roadway the distance here is the stopping site distance and the stopping site distance has two uh, distances there's two types of distance the first one is the reaction distance so the distance traveled while the, um, the driver is, um, um, per, ha, is an, uh, reacting on the hazard on the roadway so take note that as long as the vehicle is accelerating there is a distance traveled while the driver is uh, processing the information that he has seen he has seen in the roadway the next one is the braking distance or the distance traveled when the driver applied the brakes so as you can see before the driver reaches a full stop okay meaning v2 is equal to zero meaning the driver has a full stop okay, before he reaches that he will be traveling a braking distance now for the reaction distance we have the formula velocity times time and the braking distance has the formula v squared over 2g times f plus g wherein v here is in meter per second velocity in meters per second t is the perception reaction time here. and then f is the coefficient of friction between tires and the pavements and the big G is the average grade or the slope of the or the inclination of the roadway. And the small g here is the acceleration of gravity. Okay. So in the problems we will be encountering design speed or the maximum safe speed that can be maintained over a specified section of a highway. When conditions are so favorable that the design features of the highway governs and then uh, the stopping site distance is the distance required to see an object 150 mm high on the roadway it is intended to allow drivers to stop safely after sighting an object on the roadway large enough to cause damage to the vehicle or loss of control now uh, let's uh, solve the sample problems given under stopping site distance for horizontal road surface. For the first problem, we are to determine the minimum stopping site distance on a negative 3.5% grade for a design speed of 110 km per hour. Coefficient of friction between tires and pavement is given as 0.28 and the driver's reaction time including perception time is 2.5 seconds. So these are the data gathered upon observation. These are the data as design of the uh, roadway. Okay, so we are to determine the minimum stopping site distance. In, uh, in the practicality of this, in what way we, can we apply the uh, stopping site distance problem? Well, for example, you are designing, so here, we have here a roadway, 
And then, uh, there is a pedestrian lane here intended for children to cross as they go to school. Now, you are to determine how far away from the pedestrian lane will you put a signage wherein it says there, slow down, uh, pedestrian crossing. So, you are to determine what could be the minimum distance. So, you can, you can uh, use SSD for this to determine how far away your signage is from the uh, for the pedestrian lane. Okay. So to solve this uh, problem, let's use this figure. Okay. So this is our vehicle. <coughs> And uh, it is required that it is to stop. So, meaning the V2 is equal to 0. Full stop. Now, we are to determine the minimum stopping side distance. Okay, so let's solve for this problem. But first, we, uh, we will be converting your V1. And that is equal to... 110 kilometers per hour let's convert that into meter per second because in the formula velocity should be in meters per second okay so that is one hour in every 3600 seconds then we have 1000 meters in every one Kilometer. So cancel out for one kilometer. So V1 is now equal to so that is 30.56 meters per second. Now V2 is equal to zero. That means it has uh, stop. So it is full stop. Now, uh, let's uh, input the formula. We have their SSD. And then this is equal to V1T plus V1 squared divided by 2G times the friction plus the grid. And that is equal to 30.5. 6 times the reaction time of 2.5 2 seconds plus V1 is 30 so remember the reaction time should be seconds 30.56 this is squared twice of gravity then we have there the uh, friction of 0.28 plus a negative grid of 3.5% or that is negative 0 0.035 so what is the answer for this the first one is 76.4 so that is the reaction distance plus the other one is 194.29 and that is the breaking distance now for the total of 270.69 meters okay so that is the uh, minimum stopping site distance so you can put your signage maybe about 300 meters just not lesser than 270.69 meters okay for example number two so in an intersection collision one of the vehicles leave 48.78 meters of skid marks so we will be having a collision problem 
A skid mark analysis indicates that the vehicle was traveling 80 kilometers per hour at the onset of braking. Assuming the median brake reaction time of 0.66 seconds, estimate the distance from the point of impact to the vehicle position when the driver initially reacted. The acceleration rate of the vehicle is 1.5 meter per second squared. So here, we are to solve for the distance from the point of impact to the, to the position when the driver initially reacted. So, we can uh, use this when, when we solve this, uh, we can use this as um, this analysis in order to design our highway when it comes to accident so we can uh, uh, redesign our highway for this for example if this is the vehicle okay, this is the vehicle and then it had collision in this portion here for example because of a another vehicle here therefore you can conclude as to how far or what is the minimum stop uh, what is the minimum distance from this intersection you can put a signage or you can put a rumble strip somewhere here so as to uh, wake up the driver when the driver is sleepy or uh, in whatever analysis you are able to observe from this accident as for the cause of the accident So let's use this figure. So this is our vehicle and this is the collision point. So we are required to solve for this portion. The distance here. And as for the 48.78 meters of skid marks, of course, it is uh, somewhere here when the driver stepped on the brake. That's why it made a skid mark of 48.78 meters. And you can consider that as the uh, braking distance. So, and then, uh, so let's name this as the s1 the uh, reaction distance and this is s2 as the braking distance and then where would where where will we put the 80 kilometer per hour velocity is this the v1 or the v2 it says there a skid mark analysis indicates that the vehicle was traveling 80 km per hour at the onset of braking so meaning we cannot put here velocity equals to zero because the vehicle did not have a full stop so as to have avoided the accident but rather the, the vehicle is still accelerating when it step on the brake so we can say that the v2 here is 80 kilometers per hour that's why there is a collision therefore this leaves us as having the v1 as question mark so we will solve for the v1 in order for us to solve for the ssd but first let's convert v2 as 80 kilometers per hour and this is one hour three thousand six hundred seconds and this is one thousand meters in one kilometer so cancel cancel so this leaves 
22.22 meters per second. Now, how do we solve for the V1 now? So, we can use this portion in order to solve for the V1. How? Uh, we will be using the formula 2AS equals V1 V V2 squared minus V1 squared so S here being the S2 the breaking distance so 2 times the uh, acceleration but in the problem it is deceleration therefore we have here negative 1.5 this is 48.78 then V2 is 22.2 squared minus V1 squared therefore V1 is now equal to 25.3 meters per second therefore we will be able to get now the value of S1 S1 is V1T Twenty five point three times the perception reaction time of point sixty six second. So S one is now equal to sixteen point seven meter. Therefore, stop stopping side distance now here or the the distance traveled here is now equal to sixteen point seven plus. 48.78 therefore we have there 65.48 meters so that is the distance from the point where the vehicle reacted then to the point of impact okay so that is for number two well, for the last problem we have there a vehicle traveling at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour which accelerates 3.41 meter per second squared the perception reaction time for the driver is 2.5 second if the maximum grade of the road is negative 4 percent compute the minimum side distance so we will be using this Photo. Now, what is the difference of this problem to the previous problem? Well, it, there is no uh, friction given. Since there is no friction given, we will need to solve it. But first, let's convert the V1. So, V1 is equal to 80 kilometers per hour because we are computing for the minimum side distance meaning we are having v2 is equal to zero v1 is 80 kilometers per hour now previously we were able to solve this as 22.22 meters per second now for the friction friction is equal to acceleration over the acceleration of gravity now acceleration is 3.41 gravity is 9.81 so that is equal to 0.35 therefore the stopping side distance now the minimum stopping side distance is equal to uh, v so vt equals v squared over 2g f plus g v 22.22 times the time perception reaction time 2.5 plus 22.22 squared divided by 2 times gravity the friction of 0.35 then the grade of negative that is negative 4% so negative 
zero point zero four, and that is equal to one hundred and thirty six point seventy four meters. Okay, so this is the minimum stopping site distance given all these values. Uh, the speed, design speed, acceleration, the perception reaction time, and the grade of the roadway. Now, stay tuned for the next video for the next uh, stopping site, uh, for the next site uh, distance problem.